Welcome to another branches lecture series. Uh, today we will be focusing on the venomous snake. I am Sasindra Pereira from the senior committee of the Wilderness and Wildlife Protection Society of Royal College. And uh, joining me today is Arit Karnathilaka and uh, Sehat Pereira from the, uh, also from the senior committee of the Wilderness and Wildlife Protection Society of Royal College. And uh, before we start, we have to say that uh, we are not professionals, okay? So we won't be able to answer every question, but if you all do have a question, don't feel, sorry, feel free to ask us and we will try our best to answer it, okay? Yeah, uh, so uh, as you can see here in the screen, these are the topics that we'll be focusing on today. So first uh, we have the introduction, then we'll be talking about the characteristics of a venomous snake, then the types of venomous snakes in the world, then their behavior, their diet, the habitat, and the venom, and then the threats they face. And finally, some interesting facts about the venomous snake. Yeah, let's move on. Uh, delay. Uh, so uh, now we'll uh, be talking about uh, a small introduction. We'll give you all a small introduction to the venomous snake. Uh, so venomous snakes are a species of the suborder serpentus that are capable of producing venom, which they use for killing prey, uh, for their defense, and to assist with digestion. Uh, they have modified dentition as well. Dentition means the arrangement of teeth to allow the delivery of venom with a bite. Snakes are cold-blooded animals, which means they, they have blood whose temperature tem uh, changes uh, with the temperature of the air. Uh, since snakes don't chew their food, breaking down bones and tougher tissues with venom enables the animal to digest more efficiently and easily. So there are three types of venom according to its effect. Uh, those three are hemotoxic, cytotoxic, and neurotoxic. Okay, uh, so does uh, anyone have any issues, any problems? Sorry. Are you what is neurotoxic? It's a type of uh, venom. Okay. Uh, yeah, any other questions? Okay. Uh, yeah, next slide, please. I'm Ali. Uh, my name is Arif Khan I'm, I'm also a member of the senior committee. Ali, uh, I'll be talking about the characteristics of a venomous snake today. Uh, venomous snakes usually have a triangular, that means white at the back and attached to a narrow neck or a spade shaped head. The back part, the black part in the center of the eye, the pupil of harmless snakes is round. And uh, venomous snakes have egg shaped or cat like elliptical pupils. The pit is a body part of a snake. It looks like a nostril and helps the snake locate warm body prey. It is located about midway and slightly below the eye and nostril. Only venomous snakes have pits. Snakes like cottonmouths and copperheads can be recognized by their bright yellow or greenish yellow tail. Mali, the rattlesnake, usually have rattles on their tail tips. Uh, so Mali, the first picture you can see, it's a venomous snake. It has a triangular shaped head. Uh, the second picture you can see that the arrow is pointing at the feet of a snake, which is like the nostril. The third picture, Mali, you can see the pupil, it's shaped like an egg. And the fourth picture, Mali, the, it's a rattlesnake. Uh, next on, Seha uh, Pereira. Okay, boys, let's talk about types of venomous snakes. So there are 3,500 snake species around the world. And there are around 600 venomous snake species in the world. So here are some examples for venomous snakes. So 
inland taipan the king cobra cottonmouth snake the black mamba russell's viper the boom slang so moving on to inland taipan the inland taipan also commonly known as the western taipan is a species of extremely venomous snake the species is endemic to central east australia the inland taipan is the most venomous snake in the world mali endemic means they can only be found in a certain area so if a inland taipan bites it could cause paralysis and breathing difficulties and this snake can kill someone within 45 minutes so it is estimated that one bite possesses enough lethality to kill at least 100 fully grown humans moving on to the king cobra the king cobra is a venomous snake species of elephants endemic to jungles in southern and southeast asia king cobra is the world's largest and longest venomous snake they are called king cobras because they can kill and eat other cobras one bite of this snake can kill around 20 people or even an elephant if you do the right things after a bite of a king cobra it's not going to be fatal so there's a small chance to survive from a king cobra attack moving on to cottonmouth snake cottonmouth snake is a species of pit viper it is the world's only semi aquatic viper and is native to the sub- southeastern united states it is large and capable of delivering a fatal bite so semi aquatic means they can live on land and water somali any questions no i so i am others in the king cobra what is the, what is uh, like elephant me the king cobra uh mali elephant means like uh, it is like uh, a type of snake so there are types of snakes so there 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 are elephants and uh, there there is like another word for the class of vipers so elephants is a sty- is like a type of uh, snake okay. okay thank you yeah all right shall we move on to the next slide the next one is the black mamba the black mamba is a species of highly venomous snake belonging to the family elapidae it is native to parts of sub saharan africa it is the second la- second longest venomous snake mature specimens generally exceed 2 meters this snake has a fastest acting venom of any snake and also one of the fastest snakes in the world they can move up to 12.5 miles per hour the black mamba is a very dangerous snake because it may bite as many as 12 times in a single attack moving on to russell's viper Russell's viper is a species of venomous snake in the family Viperidae native to the Indian subcontinent. The Russell viper is very common in Sri Lanka. In Sinhala we call Russell's viper Polanga. So this Russell's viper is uh, very common in Sri Lanka and as well as in Asia. Moving on to the boom slang The boom slang is a large highly venomous snake in the family Colubridae. It is a tree snake native to sub-Saharan Africa. An adult boom slang has 1.6 to 8 milligrams of venom. 
So as you all can see in the picture, uh, there are the black member on the left side and Russell's rifle uh, in the middle and the boom slang in the right side. So Mali, any questions regarding this topic? Aya, uh, who is uh, like the most venomous snake? Uh, it's Indian tiger. Okay. Aya, uh, how uh, many venomous snakes are there in Sri Lanka? There's around now five. Okay. Okay. Any other questions? Okay, uh, Arit, let's move. Okay, uh, Mali, now let's talk about the behavior of venomous snakes. So we'll be talking about tongue flicking, changing eye color, coiling into an S shape, and uh, yawning, which are some basic uh, venom snake behavior. So uh, to start off tongue flicking, snakes use their tongues to smell, okay? As a snake's sight and hearing is quite limited, you'll see them doing this quite often. Slow and controlled tongue flicks means that the snake is taking in its surroundings, Short and rapid tongue flicks usually indicate, indicate something has really grabbed the snake's attention, like food. Uh, moving on, changing eye color. A snake's eyes turn opaque is one, uh, turning opaque is one of the best indicators he or she is getting ready for a shed. Okay, so shedding means that uh, they lose their old skin and uh, develop their new skin. Uh, you might notice the eyes becoming white or light blue or another pale color. Yeah, uh, let's move on to the next slide. Okay, uh, coiling into an S-shape. Uh, so as many of you all know, snakes are quite flexible. So you might find them in the shape of an S at any given time. However, if the snake deliberately retracts its head and coils its neck into a curved stance, so an S shape, it is, a, it is in de defense mode and has positioned itself to strike. Okay, and uh, yawning. Uh, snakes don't really yawn because they're sleepy, but instead they open their mouths incredibly wide to gather air particles to smell. Okay, so this is another way they use, uh, th this is another way they smell. Okay. And uh, additionally, if a snake smells something interesting, they may open their mouths very wide in order to stretch their jaws out for a big meal. Okay, uh, so yeah, that is it for behavior. Does anyone have any questions? Does, uh, does anyone have any questions? Okay, uh, move on to the next slide. So uh, here you can see three pictures in the, so in the first one on the left, the one in the left hand side, you can see a snake uh, flicking its tongue. And then in the center, you can see a snake's eye color turning opaque. Okay, so this, is, this indicates that they are getting ready to shed their skin. And in the picture on the right hand side, you can see a snake coiling into an S shaped, a shape. Yeah. Uh, does anyone have any questions? No, okay, uh, let's move on. Okay, so Mali, uh, now uh, we are going to talk about snakes diet. Uh, Mali, all venomous snakes are carnivores. Uh, carnivores means that they only eat meat. Uh, venomous snakes vary in the types of prey they target depending on their species. Some specialize in small mammals such as mice, some go for fish, 
shrimps or crabs and other and some hunt reptiles and even other snakes. As Sehat said before, uh, the king cobra uh, hunts other snakes. Uh, so since snakes don't chew their food, they swallow their prey whole. Breaking down bones and tougher tissues with venom potentially enables the animal to digest more efficiently and easily. Uh, so Mali, do you all have any questions about the diet of snakes? Okay, so uh, Malik, uh, don't be afraid to ask any questions, okay? Feel free to ask any questions that you all have, okay? Since they are unable to regulate their own body temperature, a uh, few are found in cooler climates. Australia is home to 20... Australia is home to 20 of the 25 most venomous snakes in the world, including all, the, all of the top 11. The world's most venomous snake is the inland taipan, which is found nowhere else on Earth. Eladi Quimara Grande in Brazil has been called one of the world's deadliest islands because it has the highest concentration of venomous snakes anywhere in the world. A lot of snakes found in Asia mainly live in the northern, northern India, east of southern China, Malay Peninsula and east of Western Indonesia and the Philippines. They prefer streams in dense or open forests, bamboo thickets, and dense mangrove swamps. Russell Viper, Sri Lankan Cobra, Common Crate, Ceylon Crate, and Hump Nose Viper are the most venomous snakes living in Sri Lanka. Yeah. Over to you, Sasan. Yeah, so Mali, here you can see a map. Uh, of uh, like where snakes live, their populations. Okay, so the areas, the countries that are in dark red are the countries with the most, the highest number of snakes in the world. Okay, so countries like India, Sri Lanka, uh, South China, South, South part of China, uh, Malaysia, Indonesia. So they, they are all of them, all of those countries have a lot of venomous snakes. And then uh, the areas that are in dark orange Mali are the countries with a considerate amount of uh, venomous snakes, a countries with a considerate amount of venomous snakes. So uh, like they had said earlier, parts of sub-Saharan Africa, the, in, uh, the country Brazil, where the Amazon rainforest is, and yeah. Uh, and uh, as you can see here, the continent Europe is in uh, a very light color, which means that a lot of snakes don't live in Europe. And uh, the main reason for that is like, uh, as I said earlier, they are cold blooded animals. Are it move, move back. Yeah. Uh, so, like Seth said, uh, they are cold-blooded animals, which means that they can't regulate their own body temperature. Uh, so, uh, they don't live that much in cooler climates. So, we'll give you all a couple of minutes to study the map and uh, again, feel free to ask us any questions. Uh, Aya, how do you define a, like a venomous snake from a non-venomous snake? Yeah, so Mali, venomous snakes are snakes that have venom. So non-venomous snakes don't have venom, okay? And uh, there are like some physical characteristics that help you to uh, spot venomous snakes from non-venomous snakes. Like Karit said earlier, they have triangular shaped heads uh, and they have an elliptical pupil. And uh, and like some rattlesnakes and some like uh, the cottonmouths and snakes like that, they have uh, green tails and the rattlesnakes have a rattle at the end of the tail. So stuff like that uh, really helps you to identify the venomous snakes and from the non-venomous snakes. Okay. Thank you, Aya. Yeah. Any other questions? Why are snakes' eyes opaque? Uh, Somali, they turn that color when, when they uh, shed their skin. 
So many of you might know that uh, snakes uh, lose their old skin and uh, develop uh, in like new skin. So that's called shedding. And the eyes turn uh, opaque when uh, they shed their skin. Uh, Amaldi has asked why doesn't snakes live in Arctic? In the Arctic region, uh, yeah. So again, they are cold-blooded animals, so they can't really live in cooler, cooler climates. No. Any other questions? Okay, so we'll give you all another uh, minute to uh, look at the map. And then uh, after that, we'll move on to the next slide. Uh, okay, uh, Arit, let's uh, move on to the next slide. Okay, uh, Mali, let's talk about the venom. So as we discussed earlier, there are three types of venom according to its effect, hemotoxic, cytotoxic, and uh, neurotoxic. So snake venom is a highly modified saliva containing zootoxins, okay, that facilitate the immobilization and digestion of prey. And it also uh, acts as a defense mechanism. Uh, it is injected by unique fangs, okay, during a bite. And some species are able to project spit that contain venom like the uh, spitting cobra. So in the bot uh, bottom left-hand side, you can see uh, two fangs producing venom. And on the right-hand side, you can see a spitting cobra uh, spitting its venom. Uh, yeah, let's move on to the next slide. Eddie. Okay, so the glands that produce the venom are modification of the parotid salivary glands found in other vertebrates. So vertebrates means mainly animals with a backbone and are usually situated, situated on each side of the head below and behind the eye. Okay, uh, venom contains more than 20 different compounds. It is mostly a complex mixture of proteins, enzymes and various other substances that are toxic. Uh, some snakes venom is so strong that it can kill an elephant in just a few hours. So like uh, Sihat said earlier, um, the inland taipan is the world's most venomous snake and it can kill you within four to five minutes. So yeah, and if you can see here in the picture, uh, there is a gland that uh, the venom gland, you can see the venom gland in here that uh, stores the venom and the fangs that uh, project the venom when required. Okay. Uh, any questions regarding uh, the venom? The venom of venomous snakes? So are you aware is the, like the venom come from to the... Uh... Um, to the uh, like to the that venom, fangs. uh, yeah, to the fangs, no, like yeah. from to the muscle, like to the muscle, to the, yes, 
so mali like uh, you know how we have saliva spit so like them uh, so like that snakes um, make uh, okay. venom okay i right, thank you yeah yeah any other questions again uh, don't uh, yeah yeah who is the world, uh, who is the most venomous snake uh, yeah mali uh, the world's most venomous snake again is the inland tiger and it can kill you within 45 minutes are you about that uh, black mamba can kill a human in 20 minutes yeah that but mali uh, the venom of the uh, inland tiger is more strong because like it can kill it can it can also kill like a hundred or so human beings right sir oh yeah, yeah. any other questions Okay. Uh, let's move on to the next slide. Okay. So, Mali. Uh, now I'll be talking about snakes. That. Uh, that venomous snakes have. So, Mali. Uh, according to the International Union for Conservation of Nature. uh this red list of threatened species 12% of snake species are listed as threatened and their populations are in decline so mali here are some of the reasons human snake conflict uh, each year 2.7 people around the world suffer serious snake bite in mission in response to this many find the solution to this crisis is to kill snakes often times indiscriminately some snakes are killed even if they pose no real threat to the human that encountered them uh, habitat destruction globally snake habitat is threatened each year an estimated 7.3 million hectares of forest are cleared to date about half of the world's tropical forests have been cleared to protect snake populations it is critical that we secure the ecosystems that they depend on natural predators uh, snakes are many predators though the size and location of snake determine animals that will go after them birds mongooses wild boars foxes raccoons and coyotes are just a few of their potential threats other snakes may also go after each other global warming uh, since snakes are cold blooded with global warming their bodies get too hot the research shows that these animals have to shelter in the shade for much of the now hotter days greatly reducing their available hunting feeding time and forcing them to engage in more risky hunting to make up for it they are exposing themselves to predators mali in the first picture you can see it's a hawk and here's caught a snake the picture in the middle uh, it's it's a battle versus a snake and a mongoose and finally the third picture you can see uh, humans have uh, cleared the forest they like burn it down so that's a huge threat to snakes these days mali uh, do you all have any questions and do you all have any other ideas about threats any other ideas which i didn't say yeah mali and like, like karit said if you all find any valuable information that you all would like to share please share it with us because then both parties can learn something from it okay and again don't be afraid to ask us any questions uh one mali has asked who will win if a inland taipan and a black mamba fights uh i we don't really know mali because uh, the black mamba usually lives in uh, africa and the inland taipan only lives in australia so like you won't really see them in the wild together okay 
Mali, any other questions or any other ideas, insights that you have that we talk about? Ya, karena anaconda kill a typhoon. Mali, that depends like on the size of the snake and you know the environment. Yeah, so those factors depend. And uh, may again may raise your hands and ask. Uh, we may don't be afraid to like talk. You can ask us any question. Ah, uh, yeah. Which is the strongest snake in water? Uh, so, ah, uh, say that cottonmouth is semi-aquatic, right? Yeah, so the cottonmouth monkey. It is the only semi-aquatic uh, venomous snake. Uh, can venomous snakes kill crocodiles? Uh, well, they have some snakes have enough venom to kill elephants. So if they get if crocodiles do get bitten by a dangerous or highly venomous snake, then yes, they can die. Don't they have a hard skin, right? Crocodiles. Uh, but still, Mali, like even elephants, they they also have like very hard skin. But okay. Okay. What is the largest snake? The world. so uh, Mali, this is about venomous snake. So the largest venomous snake is the king cobra. Again, may don't be afraid to ask us any questions, and also share any valuable information that you have. Mali, so as Sasan said, uh, the largest is a uh, Sasan. What did you say? The largest uh, venomous snake, the king cobra. Yeah. The venomous snake is king cobra, but uh, like in generally, it's the green anaconda. Can you take everyone in there? Yeah. So the so the anaconda is like. He's not venomous, and the when it comes to non-venomous snakes, anaconda is the largest, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so uh, we'll move on to the next slide. Okay, so here are some interesting facts about venomous snakes. The king cobra is the longest snake in the world with the ability to inject venom. They can grow up to 5.6 meters in length. Black mamba are the fastest snake in the world, reaching 16 kilometers per hour. When cobras are threatened, they rear up and flatten their necks to appear large. In the wild, a snake can go about six months without food if it has to. Certain kinds of snakes can even survive up to two years without food. They do this by lowering their metabolism up to 70% and using their stored energy to get by until their next meal is available. Generally, their mouths can open 150 degrees and sometimes even wider than that. The boomslang snake can open up to 170 degrees, for instance. Sasindu? Yeah, uh, so again, Mali, do you all have any uh, questions? Mali, do you all know any other facts that Sam Dean mentioned? Yeah, some interesting facts that uh, I can black mambas kill a king cobra. Uh, I'm not really sure, Mali, because uh, again, king uh, like I don't think black mamba really attacks other snakes. 
uh, whereas the king cobra goes after other snakes. Uh, that uh, I can't really give you a 100% accurate answer. Sorry. Any other questions? Again, may, if you all have any, any valuable info, ask us. And uh, uh, Mali has asked, which snake has the biggest fangs? So Mali, uh, we didn't talk about this snake, uh, but uh, the snake with the biggest fangs is the Gaboon Viper. Okay, if you all uh, can search it after the uh, after the lecture, then you will see like it is a very strange looking snake. It is the Gaboon Viper. Okay. Uh, yeah, so those days uh, was the tide. Yeah, uh, so yeah, the Titanoboa is extinct. And yes, it was one of the largest snakes. Any other questions? Uh, yeah, I, uh, is it, uh, do snakes kill dogs? Yes, uh, snakes can kill dogs if they feel threatened. And uh, it is tight Titanoboa, not Titanoboa. Okay, uh, we have a, sh uh, a short video about uh, the king cobra. Uh, Arit, can you play? It's in the next slide. Can you hear? Uh, yeah, we can see the video. Yeah, hold on. 53 years, oh, no. so there's probably no one in the world better equipped to show me how to deal with these incredible creatures. Please. No way. This is the King Cobra. At this size, you kind of expect it to be a python, but it's not. It is the largest venomous snake in the world. Even though this is a snake with incredible capabilities, you can see that all it really wants to do is escape from danger. Its first instinct is to flee, to get away. But when it realizes that Mr. Calm here doesn't want to let it go, it's putting on a big display to make itself seem larger, make it seem more threatening. And it is absolutely, unimaginably vast. See, this snake is getting on for four meters long. And as it stands up and spreads its ribs into a hood, like the monocle cobra before it, it just looks huge. His head is the size of my hand. And the fangs are long, thin needles that can inject huge amounts of venom even deep into the muscle. And that's what allows it to work so quickly and why it is so potentially dangerous to people. He really is just figuring me out and just making sure that I keep my distance as long as I'm exactly what where I am now, I'm safe. If I got even a few inches closer, he'd be able to bite me. Okay, what I'd really like to do is to show you a praise eye view of the King Cobra up close. Thanks, Giles. Is that running? Okay. Oh, yeah. A snake this big can almost stand up and look me in the eye. They can hold a third of their body length off the ground which means that 18 foot long snake can stand up six feet, that's as tall as me. You see that tongue flicking out, tasting me on the air. 
He's looking a little bit at his reflection in the Okay, um, yeah, uh, so uh, only that concludes our lecture about the venomous snake. Okay, uh, hope you all learned some valuable and so uh, some interesting facts about uh, the venomous snake and uh, hope you all enjoyed it. <laughs>